The West must resist playing Russian President Vladimir Putin's game in Syria, so argues Natalie Nugareje in an opinion piece for The Guardian. We'll take a look at that today here on the Press Review. Nugareje begins by laying out Putin's proposal. She writes, let's all ally ourselves with Bashar al-Assad. The Syrian president may be a murderous thug, but we shouldn't let that stand in our way. The Russian leader's message encapsulates the biggest dilemma Western policymakers now face as they confront the spillover from the war in Syria. As with other Russian maneuvers in the recent past, such as its annexation of Ukraine's Crimean Peninsula and deployment of troops in East Ukraine, key to the Kremlin's strategy is speed. Moving quickly keeps the West off guard. As Nugareje tells us, Putin's priority is to cast Assad as the main bulwark against ISIS and to position Russia as the centerpiece of a new international strategy on Syria. Russia has moved fast to demonstrate its assertiveness. It has begun a military deployment in coastal areas of Syria controlled by the Assad regime, which has caught Western officials off balance. The war in Syria has been raging since 2011 and has lost much of the attention it was once given by Western officials and in the media. This presents Putin with an opportunity. Syria fatigue in Western circles has reached such a point that Putin has a good opportunity to cast himself as the man with a plan. But this is precisely the problem. Western failure in the region is one thing, but it doesn't mean that the Russian president can bring salvation. Quite the contrary. The U.S. has already said clearly that it believes Syrian President Assad must go and a new government must be elected which reflects the will of the Syrian people. Nugareje seems to agree, arguing that going along with Russia's plan to back Assad cannot lead to anything good. She writes, Putin's suggestion that the West should embrace Assad is an illusion that will lead to more bloodshed in Syria and won't solve the refugee crisis. It risks making Syria an even greater hell, if only because alignment with Assad will be met with more meddling by Saudi and Gulf actors who back Sunni Islamic insurgents. It should be rejected. The need to defeat Islamic State should, in theory, bring together world powers in the name of a common goal. But with Russia stubbornly sticking to its support for Syrian President Assad, it seems the Middle Eastern state could become the next major flashpoint in the wider confrontation currently playing out between Moscow and the West, which began with the Kremlin's annexation of Ukraine's Crimean Peninsula last year. That's all we have time for today. Join us again tomorrow for another press review. In Kiev, this is Ukraine Today.